welcome to channel 64 my name is errington and today we are back in the city of swamp water to start filling out the rest of this city block i think what we're going to do this episode is put a building right here but before we do that i want to uh go ahead and show you what's been happening between episodes so as you can see over here we have extended this back section out we are all ready to fill out the whole rest of this block I uh, just got to get enough time to start throwing in this buildings. So, but we'll start with this one up here. Now, I've also been pre-planning a bunch ahead of time as far as where we're going next. And so with that, I have planned out the next city block or two, actually. We've got one over here as well. And so that is where our next city blocks will be. And if we take flight right here, you'll see I've also connected Jess's pathway to the pagoda there over to our city block here. Now, we need a quicker way access up to the top. I think we'll work on that. But in the meantime, I did put a door right here that leads nowhere. Um, nothing much going on in here. All the behind the scenes, boring, ugly stuff. But that is what has been done. So let's go ahead and check the mail. And then we'll go ahead and get into the build. All right, so let's go ahead and go check our mail and uh, head on in the Swamp Water Post here. Let's see what we've got. We have, oh wow, uh, full shulker boxes of terracotta. I think those are from Jess and... Oh, uh, glow ink sack, glow squid's head from Jess as well. And I, I think that netherite ingot is, uh, that must be, Mellington's been doing most of the netherite mining. That's awesome. All righty. Well, in that case, let's, uh, let's take our resources outside and see what we can build out of these. All right. So with all that new terracotta, I think what we'll do is kind of match this front height here. Uh, go somewhere around there and just kind of cap off this end. Maybe make a little alleyway space in here. That would be nice. I know, like, as far as, like, a dirty old city kind of look, I want little nooks and crannies here and there, alleyways. I think we've got a side door to the theater in there that we'll uh, make sure there's access to. And we need something to use the building for because I don't have any interior planned for it. So... I don't think there's anything we need majorly, but with a with a strange space like this, we're not going to be able to fit anything perfectly in there. I think what we'll do is make a cactus farm. And so then we'll kind of layer that and then that'll run passively and just get us, you know, more than we'll probably need unless somebody takes up a massive amount of green buildings. Uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and do that. We'll run uh, hoppers down and then run them under the city and over towards storage. That would be perfect. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get started on our building. Attention all my fellow creators. I have come up with an interesting solution to address most of Swampwater's more pressing issues as of late. I'll be holding a hearing about it in the basement of the inn in approximately five minutes. Please come if you have the time. Welcome, my friends. It's good to have so many of you all in one place. I've been thinking lately about our lovely city's infrastructure. As we have grown so rapidly, it seems that the task of resource gathering and other important functions are currently spread out and are very inefficient. I believe that I have found a solution, though. I would like to begin the formation of guilds and construction of guild headquarters across the city. These guilds would focus on different resources or goals. I have thought of an initial six guilds to begin with. First, the Pendulum, a news and information distribution service. 
to enlighten all the masses of ongoing projects, the latest happenings, and current ongoing threats. The sword is a demanding guild, focusing on arming this city's staunch protectors with the potions, netherite, weapons, and armor. We have the trade guild. This guild will require us to build a dock, and will focus on the import and export of Swampwater's many goods and services. Next is the pick. This guild will be focused on the exploration and exportation of any and all caves and resources below the ground. Now the Lorekeeper's Guild will require the construction of a museum. I have already spoken with Happy about constructing it. We will use it as a way to remember and celebrate Swamp Water's glorious history. Then we have the Axe. This guild will be focused on the production of lumber and farming the land for all of its resources. Uh, if I may, Doc, I'd be very interested in creating the guild headquarters for the Axe. I've spent a lot of time this week working on cutting down trees and collecting logs, and we definitely need some kind of factory or woodworking industry built up in swamp water. That is, it's a lot of work. Oh, if you want it, I'm more than happy to, to take care of it, Arrington. Thank you. Yes, please. I'm definitely super keen to get some netherite and some gear for everyone. So we can be the best, the best that we can, best citizens of swamp water that we can be. That'd be awesome. I'd be delighted if you could help us with this. Yay. (laughs) I understand there's so many things that need to be done that it's hard to really focus in on them. But with the construction of headquarters and with, and I'll be benefiting the inn to help us get more of a broader scope and zero in on what really truly needs to be done to get this idea running. It's. It's a wide project, and it's an ambitious one, but I believe it's one that we are set up and able to handle. Excuse me. Right, right. Just, excuse me. Yeah, yes, in the front row. I have an idea. <clears throat> I have an idea. Yes, what yes. if... Uh, what if... So these are all the guilds, right? Um, around yeah. the room. Yes, this these are the symbols for them. So if we put lecterns underneath them, and maybe we can all write in the book about, like, ideas that we have um, for each guild. So, like, maybe, um, because this is, like, the miners' guild? Yes, the pick. Yeah, so maybe if you've got, like, a big project coming up, you can, like, come to the book and be like, um, I need, uh, Eight shulker boxes of stone or something. Just just an idea. Oh, so you oh, could that's... like come here to um you could come here to place an order basically, like like excuse me, guild, I need this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or like if you have an idea for another guild but you don't actually want to like leave your guild that you're in because you've been working really hard, you can just write down you know, like maybe um farm ideas or Offering to help, or I don't know. I'm gonna sit down again. <laughs> I really like that, that idea. Suggestion. I will. I will definitely implore that. That was a very, very clever, very clever. Thank you. Thank you. So the fish is functioning really well, really, really well. But I think our reach can go even further. So I'd like to explore the further lands and see if we can spread the message to any villagers around the area that perhaps can't hear the radio station. Hmm. An excellent idea, and, and I fully agree with it. Do you have any suggestions on how we could do such a thing? Uh, I think it's going to involve a lot of walking. Brilliant. Mm-hmm. I will requisition you a horse. Oh, fantastic. Uh, Can I name it? Me. Oh. Excuse <laughs> me. He's got wings on his back. He could fly. Oh, yeah, I didn't think of that. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're the one who taught me I could fly. You gave me this. <laughs> yeah. We could um yeah. we could set up we could set up like a signal booster with lots of cables and satellite dishes so we can extend to the the outer villages. And maybe we could even um set up some shortcuts in the nether to get to the outer villages. That's a cool idea. Like a Another like a telegraph system. Idea. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I like that. What about defenses? I have some ideas that I think are rather ambitious and a bit down the line, but I could use the uh, construction of a factory for those. Factory. Got it. More of a warehouse. I'll fill in the uh, I'll fill in the actual machinery, 
I'll just need this. I just need a workplace more so than anything. Mm -hmm. The uh, attic has way too many spiders. It does. And they're surprisingly difficult to hit with a crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> so docks, that's going to be merchants here. Yeah? Yes. The idea, you see, we're, the trading hall is getting us far too many supplies that we could actually start selling them off to help finance some of the bigger projects we could have around here. So the what, docks the would be an excellent people? space for... Not the people, the, <laughs> not the people, the products. Do you see how many golden carrots we've manufactured? Mm -hmm. We could sell some of those for actual gold. Or maybe even things we don't ha truly have access to. I'm not quite sure what's out there in the world. And over here is a place I think would just be perfect for the trading docks. Yeah, just right over here. Hello, Dave. Oh, hey, Dave. Uh, yeah. hey, hey, guys, hey, hey, hey. What's happening, you Doctor? I haven't meeting. seen you around for a meeting. What meeting? I, I, I announced a meeting a little bit ago to discuss the formation of guilds. Oh, did you not uh, hear the? No, sorry, I've I've been out here with just some bit of R and R uh, after so much time in the end in the Nether. Bit of R and R, just relaxing on the beach, enjoying the view. And uh, well, actually, I didn't enjoy the view, but yeah, I um, changed that. You built a sandcastle. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, yes, it's R and R. Oh, nice. Um, it's nice. Not not work. It's relax. Just you know, yeah. it's kind of funny. Enjoy. I don't remember there being an island so close to the city. Yeah, the, the creeper farm was interrupting my view, so uh, I covered it. Well, mostly. There's a little bit left to go, but I'm just relaxing now. Oh, that's more than fair. Um, thank you for your dedicated work. It's and a quick, you know. That's, that's crazy. It looks lovely. It's, it's thank beautiful. you. Beautiful. <laughs> Are you playing yeah, in the sand so I believe this would be a great place to build the trading guild. We might have to um shoot a little farther out than I thought initially. <laughs> Just, right, right. Uh, so along the shore here? Down. Yeah, along the shore would be fine. Okay. What are we building along the shore? Oh, I had the idea to build a trading guild. That way we could handle the import and export from the trading hall you've so graciously built us. Ah, yes, yeah, but... of course. We have an overflow of goods, and I think we could actually get some new resources for the city from the outside villages that beyond our borders. Hmm, perfect. Uh... Got it. Yes. <laughs> you just needed a quick power nap. It's nothing to worry about. Nothing to call focus <laughs> to. But yeah, so uh, we'll do a group project on the building up the docks out here. Is what the plan is. Um, yes, yes. If you would, please, I'd greatly appreciate it. And Dave, while I have you here, uh, yes. Um, one of the guilds we were discussing was one called the Pick. It would be a mining operation, and I was told that you would be like have been speaking about trying to enable something like that. Uh, well, I have used a lot of stone. I have been dealing with a lot of stone. Um... <laughs> I can't help but notice. So yeah, I suppose I could do something to do with. Mining, I guess. That's yeah, that'll be fine. If you could, I would greatly appreciate it. I would be in your debt, sir. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Oh, my pleasure. Uh so um a docks, you say. Do do we think if 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 before we get project started, can anybody help me uh maybe decorate the big stone lump? I gotta go. See you later, guys. Oh man, look, yeah. I'm busy. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh no, uh, I have to make a broadcast. Maybe later. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs>
nothing to see but a bunch of cactuses and a very or cacti cacti bunch of cacti and a very inefficient farm uh, i think there's some spots where the water needs fixed but for the most part i i mean we don't need this to be completely lossless it's just cactus but they all drop down and flow over into the hoppers there and get collected down underneath and into the storage system and here we've got the alley i spoke of it leads up to a back door to the theater and here we've got you know just a bunch of random junk in the alley there a uh, kind of escape ladder to one of the windows here yeah, nothing much to see in there and uh, a billboard very inconveniently placed uh, I love how it's it's just completely obstructed by this other building uh, I, it's it's perfect it's perfect in its absurdity and I love it uh, back in the corner we've got some gutter coming down we've got windows shutters we've got you know somebody hanging their laundry out to dry and I think my favorite detail of this whole build are these signs. I, I kind of use them like buttons uh, to add some more depth. And I I love it. It works so well on this build. Uh, not saying it would work on every build, but here it just, it worked so well. I, I'm happy with it. Uh, and then this side here, we've got, you know, our kind of fire escape ladder, uh, some more laundry hanging off the side there. And again, nothing much to see up here. A bunch of doors that go pretty much nowhere. Uh, probably just contribute to loss, but it's it's worth it because it looks good. And we'll fly out to show off some of my favorite details. And I should have brought a feather falling potion. But I think my favorite is are these little uh little lightning rods giving some more height to the peaks. Uh, nice looking spikes up here, and then we've got this uh, kind of centerpiece up on the top to add some more uh, something dynamic, not well, not dynamic, static, but you know, something to add some more detail. That's the word I'm looking for. And I, I'm happy with how this is rounding out the corner here. Uh, we've got the whole front half of this block done, and now for you know, a, a whole back section uh, eventually. Um, I'm actually really excited to get started on the factory and get some log production in, in the works. So I think we'll take this section back here and begin that process next episode. But with that said, I think that's the end of this episode. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like. And if you want to join me on this content creation journey, then hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. I'll uh, see you in the next episode. Hello, all my fellow citizens of Swampwater, and thank you for tuning into 1664, The Pendulum. I am your host, Dr. Disappointment. As of a recent meeting with some of the town's local creators, we have decided to install and begin the project of guilds. These will be used to manufacture and produce resources for all of our projects around Swampwater. With the city growing ever larger and our vision ever expanding, it is more important now than ever to make sure we have these resources readily available from the guilds in order to not grow beyond our means. And with the introduction of this new system, several creators have already begun construction on headquarters for them around the city. So be careful around construction sites and make sure to thank our creators for their ever diligent work. Try to stay safe in this dangerous world around us, folks. This is Dr. Disappointment, signing off.